Hey everybody, my name is Bedros Kulian and I'm a fitness marketing expert, which pretty much means I help personal trainers grow their fitness boot camps and their personal training business, and I teach you how to get more clients and increase your income. All right, and today I want to talk to you about starting a fitness boot camp. Now check this out, there's three key elements to starting a fitness boot camp. Number one is don't overcomplicate it. So you don't need a three time a week program and a five time a week program. What you really need, and I know this because some of my top coaching clients are making six figures and even seven figures with fitness boot camps, you want simplicity. So if we're gonna make something simple, we're just gonna say we offer a five day a week program. Number two, don't be a check chaser and don't charge people per boot camp visit because then you make your business unreliable and you're always driving your business by the seat of your pants. So when you're starting a fitness business, you might as well start with good habits. And some of the best habits are charging people monthly or on auto debit or EFT. And so that's really important. Let's write that in there, EFT. And by the way, EFT simply means electronic fund transfer, just like a gym membership. So Mrs. Jones would sign up on working out five days a week at your boot camp. Now, remember, she may not be able to come five days a week. And so you simply say you can come as little as three days a week and still see amazing results. But on the weeks that you can come five days a week, Mrs. Jones, you're only gonna get more accelerated results, right? So EFT is really important because now Mrs. Jones will pay you 197 a month or 247 a month ongoing for the six month, 12 month or ongoing program, which really builds a lot of security and reliability in your business. Now I don't know about you, but I would want that on my business. And finally, now that we talked about the two systems, sorry, this is number three. Now that we talked about the two systems, let's talk about filling up your boot camp. Now, if you're anything like me when I started out, well, I was on a shoestring budget. And so the fastest, easiest, and most economical way to get people into your boot camp is through human billboards. And human billboards are this you simply get 25 to 30 local residents or business owners who are people of influence. Like for example, the moms who interact in the PTA, right? The owners of businesses like tanning salons and day spas who obviously come in contact with a lot of your ideal clients. You let them train in your boot camp as human billboards for free, <coughs> excuse me, or next to free. Right? They may pay like $49 a month. Now, if I were you, I'd let them train for free because when they're training for free, they know that they're, through reciprocity, they're going to spread the buzz about you. So if you've got 25 to 30 people of influence who are live in the community, who work in the community, working out for free, it does two things. One, they go and they spread the buzz, right? Because you're going to tell them like, hey, make sure you spread the buzz about me as I give you amazing and awesome results. Tell people how you got it and let them know that through you, they can come in here and get a free week and work out and get similar results. That's number one. Number two, nobody likes to eat in an empty restaurant. So if you're starting a fitness boot camp, you don't want to just start one with like one, two, or three people. There's just not enough energy. However, if you have 25 to 30 people, even if they're in there for free, you got the right energy, you got the right passion, people are enthusiastic, they're spreading the buzz throughout the community, and before you know it, they're gonna start pulling in people who are gonna pay you, right? Now here's something you should know. Of the 25 or 30 human billboards you get, about five or eight are really gonna be your core influencers, the ones who are gonna bring you the majority of your leads. The rest are probably just gonna fade away. So it's really important that you go and aim for that number of 25 to 30 human billboards and not just stop when you get two or three. All right, so that's all about starting a fitness boot camp. If you wanna get more tips on how to grow your personal training or your boot camp business, just scroll down right below and click that link and you'll end up on my blog where I have a ton more information for you. See you later.